ओम शांति मेकिंग द नेचर नेचुरल इन गोल्डन एज द स्टेज ऑफ सोल कॉन्शियसनेस वॉज अवर नेचुरल नेचर and we we are playing our role being in this soul conscious stage we were using the power of purity for playing our role and slowly slowly at the end of silver age when we were not having the inner power of purity body consciousness overtakes all consciousness we change our stage of soul consciousness in body consciousness and in my as kingdom they was the influence of voices on the soul that is why we have been observing thinking talking about bodily beings and bodily things and bodily world that is why body consciousness became our nature that is not our original nature as shri baba has said the stage of soul consciousness was the nature of brahma baba but we should think how baba develop that natural nature since the very first day when brahma baba had the vision of soul conscious baba used to practice that a lot he used to write thousands and thousands times on a paper on a wall that i am a soul i am a soul i am a soul by the result of that brahma baba was developing and sustaining that stage
Still the karmati stays, Baba was paying attention on this soul consciousness. And at the end, anybody could feel from Baba's stage that Baba is not having any more body consciousness. He is having hundred percent soul consciousness. Whoever was going in front of Baba, sitting in front of Baba, was experiencing the vibrations of peace and bliss and happiness from Baba's elevated stage. The stage of soul consciousness was very natural, was very deep, was very powerful. Baba's example is in front of us. If we really would like to maintain the stage of soul consciousness as a natural nature, we must work on certain aspect. We must pay attention on certain aspect. Firstly, we must realize from the heart that the stage of soul consciousness is my natural nature. Body consciousness is not my natural nature, but the stage of soul consciousness is my original nature, true nature, natural nature. We must realize this concept according to Baba's Srimad. Secondly, we must accept this concept with a great love. For that, we must have love for ourself. So, we could work on this aspect sincerely. Because where there is a love, there is no labor. If we accept this concept with a great love, then we won't feel labor in our life for maintaining 
this natural nature of soul consciousness. And thirdly, we must work very sincerely and honestly on this aspect every day. At Tamrut Vela or in evening. We must understand the stage of soul consciousness is a real foundation of my Brahmin life. The stage of soul consciousness would be natural, then yoga also would be natural. We must not have ego because ego is not allowing us to work on this aspect. I am 10 years Baba child, 15 years Baba child. I don't need to work on this soul consciousness. The beginners should work on this aspect. But I should pay attention on this aspect and work sincerely till I will not achieve karmatit stage. That is why we need to work sincerely on this aspect. And what is really the method for experiencing the stage of soul consciousness? Easy method. Just sit in solitude. And visualize very clearly and deeply by the eye of your, our intellect in the center of forehead that I am the tiny point of energy. Visualize very clearly by the eye of intellect and be in that stage as long as you can. Enjoy that stage as long as you can. Automatically, you would experience the original qualities of a soul. The quality of a love, peace, bliss, happiness, purity, light and might.
you should experience the vibrations or the waves of this original qualities gradually and gradually. I, the soul, is having a wonderful aura of spiritual light. You could visualize that, you could experience that. The aura of light is becoming larger and larger and larger. You will be surrounded by the vibrations of peace and purity all the day long. That is why the percentage of visualization must increase gradually and gradually. As much the percentage of visualization will increase, that much the depth of soul consciousness will increase. And the stage of soul consciousness will become natural. When we are being in a right consciousness, royal consciousness and real consciousness, that is a soul consciousness. We could remember Baba easily. If you are practicing this stage of soul consciousness, how do you know that stage of soul consciousness is progressing or not? Mainly there are five stages of this soul consciousness. By observing these five stages, you will get idea what type of the stage of soul consciousness you are having. First stage, awareness of soul consciousness. You are having awareness that I am a soul, point of light. And as you are maintaining that awareness, then second stage you would experience in your life the state of soul consciousness. It means you would have the ability to stay in that soul consciousness stage. 
that is known as a state of soul consciousness. Just keep on developing that stage. Keep on maintaining that stage every day. Then third stage would be vision of soul consciousness. You could visualize very clearly the sparkling star on every forehead that is known as a vision of soul consciousness. When you are being in soul consciousness, then only you could have that vision of soul consciousness. Brahma Baba's vision was X-ray vision. Brahma Baba was easily able to visualize the soul which is hidden in the center head or forehead. Baba was visualizing clearly the soul of any person. Baba's vision was X-ray vision. As much we are developing this stage, vision of soul consciousness, then fourth stage is attitude of soul consciousness. It means habit of being and seeing as a soul. That is known as the attitude of soul consciousness. While moving around, you can maintain easily the attitude of soul consciousness. This is not the gathering of brothers and sisters, but this is a gathering of living stars, sparkling stars, shining stars. Just like we are observing the gathering of stars in the sky. It is in the same way, this is a gathering of living stars. Keep on maintaining that stage. Fifth stage is being in soul consciousness stays while performing action. Action with soul consciousness stage. Because while performing action some part of our consciousness is getting busy in action. But in that situation also, 
having the ability to maintain the soul conscious stage. That is maintaining soul conscious days in action. And last, sanskars of soul consciousness, which we are carrying with us in golden age and silver age. On that basis, the stage of soul consciousness would be our natural nature for 2,500 years. Some scars of soul consciousness. Now we should check ourselves. What type of this days I am experiencing in my life? The aim must be very clear in front of us. that I have to maintain easy and natural stage of soul consciousness. And for maintaining this elevated stage, you must work on certain aspects. First, Yukti. You just experience your original form, incorporeal form, very clearly. When I was in Paramdham, I was incorporeal. I was just point of energy, full with powers and full with virtues, was completely detached from this world. There was not any karmic account with anybody. You just observe the stage and think that I really would like to experience this detached stage. Second Yukti, the moment, at Amrit Vela, the moment you are opening your eyes, in a very practical way, you experience Bab Dada is standing in front of you.
and he is putting gently the point of soul consciousness on your forehead. He is putting tilak, tilak of soul consciousness on your forehead. And giving blessings to you, oh my sweet child, be soul conscious throughout the day. Experience victorious days throughout the day. You would have you would have the, the awareness of that tilak throughout the day. By the result of that, you can easily maintain soul conscious stage while playing your role. Third yukti, for developing the stage of soul consciousness, spin the cycle. You just think that I, the soul, was coming down on this earth in the beginning of golden age and entering in golden body, pure body, first deity, birth. I enjoy my role for 150 years. And after that, I am living body. My dead body is here. The point of light is coming out and entering in another bodies and playing second birth. Was enjoying golden age life. After that, I left body and I enter in another body. By this way I complete a birth in my golden age and then I the soul enters in the silver age. I was leaving one body and entering in another body. By this way I complete my 84 birth and now at the end of 84 birth, I am this, leaving this body and the point of light traveling towards home Paramdham. This practice will help you for maintaining the natural nature of soul consciousness. Body is just like a costume. I was leaving one costume and taking another costume. Leaving one, one costume and wearing another costume. But in fact, my original form is point of light, incorporeal form. But sometimes, 
we are getting bored in this exercise just seeing and being in a point of light stage we feel dryness and that's why we are not paying attention more on that we are missing one thing if we add that thing then we never experience boredness in our life self means i am a soul plus respect means i am a very special soul these two things must be together i am not only a soul like others human beings but i am a extraordinary soul i am a very special soul selected by the supreme being why he select me out of millions and millions souls he select me because i am having a unique qualities which god needs in his task of transformation of this world that's why he select me just keep on sitting on the throne of self respect and enjoy each and every moments of this confluence is as a king we are very lovely children royal children that's why baba had given us the throne of self respect we must not lose that throne of self respect at any cost when you would sit on the throne of self respect your mind and intellect would be full with intoxication full with joyfulness full with happiness which is very necessary for having deep experiences in yoga when your mind and intellect would be full with happiness full with joyfulness you will get wonderful experiences in yoga but for that we must keep on sitting constantly on the throne of self respect
Baba mentioned the other day in Murli. You must keep on wearing the garland of self-respect. If you really would like to maintain elevated stage, you should keep on wearing the garland of self-respect. Why? Because in that stage our mind and intellect, mind and intellect is really full with joy and happiness. And we could experience flying stays naturally. For maintaining the stage of soul consciousness natural, we must keep on practicing different exercises. I, the soul, is sitting in this bodily home. I am the owner of this bodily home. I, the soul is sitting here in this home and seeing others through these windows of eyes. Second exercise, I the soul, tapasvi soul, yogi soul is sitting in the cottage of my body. Body is just like a cottage and I the soul as a yogi is sitting in this bodily cottage. Third exercise. Body is a showcase and I the soul is a showpiece in this showcase. I, the soul, is a showpiece sitting in this bodily showcase. Next exercise, body is like a temple and in this bodily temple, I the soul is like a burning lamp. The light of spirituality is radiating from that lamp constantly. Body is just like a mobile pole and soul is a, like a light on that mobile pole. Wherever the body is moving around, the light of the soul is already on that mobile pole.
and you experience this physical body, I am losing this physical body and this physical body is getting merged in these five elements. I am just point of light. My physical body is already merged in these four elements. I am just point of light. I am not having any more the awareness of this bodily costume. Shankar is the memorial of bodiless stage. Shankar is not having a single percent of awareness of body consciousness. He is totally beyond his awareness of body consciousness. He don't have the awareness of bodily costume. That is the memorial of our deep and natural soul conscious stage. Every kalpa I experience that stage. Now in this kalpa also I would like to experience that bodyless stage as a natural nature. When we would develop this stage of soul consciousness, Then while moving around, you would experience that I, the soul, is having wonderful aura of light and moving here and there gently in this physical world. And on that basis, at the end, others would get the vision of our soul consciousness. they would experience this light as a surge light. Very powerful light will reflect from your elevated stage of soul consciousness. And that will help us for the safety, for our own self, as a safety. Particularly at Amrit Vela, 
and in evening. We must practice this bodiless stage. We must accumulate the force of soul consciousness stage. On that basis, the stage of soul consciousness will lead all the day long. If we won't have that accumulated force of soul consciousness stage, then there would be the possibility of having the influence of vices. That is why we must collect this force of soul consciousness. Mama used to sit on the roof of history hall at 2 a.m. and used to practice this bodiless days. I am not a female, but I am just point of light, point of energy radiating the spiritual energy in this atmosphere. Hours and hours she used to practice this bodiless days. Brahma Baba and Mamma won the first number. This is a secret of that. If you would like to one first number, you must work sincerely on this first lesson. Because those souls would have the natural nature of soul conscious stage, they will help for making the nature of these five elements, five elements natural. Baba has said in Manmurli, when your nature would be natural, the nature's nature would be natural, would be pure. We are responsible for changing the nature of these four elements. When our nature would be natural, that will reflect on these five elements. And because of that, the natures of the nature also would be natural. The month of January 
has a special blessing You all are very special souls are here in Madhuban, especially in the month of January. You are very lucky. The month of January has a special blessing because Brahma Baba left his body in this month. You can fulfill your any spiritual desire in this month. By putting little efforts you can get great success in this spiritual field. There is extra support from Siv Baba in this January month. That is why Become the master of your own self. While being here, experience the stage of soul consciousness as your nature. He is always following you. He is always giving you company. Wherever you are going, you are not alone. Pap Dada is holding your finger and following you, being with you, and giving you light and might, extra support. Because of that, you could experience elevated stage of yoga naturally. Your apron would be full with a unique experiences. Your apron would be full with the special gifts of unique divine experiences. Just enjoy his company. Wherever I am going, I am always experiencing in his canopy. Om Shanti. Now, we would experience the stage of soul consciousness as our natural nature. And we would experience a wonderful 
company of Baba while being in that soul conscious stage. Visualizing very clearly and deeply by the eye of intellect in the center of my forehead that I am in. Point of light Point of living energy Radiant point radiating the light of spirituality all around me. Sweet silence, deep 
the stage of soul consciousness a natural Just very tiny point of divine light, just point of light. This is my true existence. as a point of divine soul very fortunate soul soul am sitting in the aeroplane of my intellect and I fly to Paramdha going beyond the sky sun and moon and stars going far beyond Beautiful is this angelic world everywhere there is wide divine love.
as the soul adopts the light form, angelic form. Oh, the emperor of angels, perfect Brahma Baba. I am visualizing very clearly in front of me. Subhava is in Brahma Baba's angelic form. Bab Dada gives me a wonderful drishti, extremely loveful drishti. Unlimited love through the rusty. There are tears of love in Baba's eyes. Oh, my sweet child, I'm very happy. I found my long lost child. How lucky am I receiving direct rusty from Bab Dada experiencing more form. Experiencing loveful state. Oh, my sweet child, most welcome you here. In this wonderful world, have any experience of any relationship with me? Experience me as your father. Experience fatherly love from me. Be a small child. And experience 
true fatherly love from me. Sometimes experience me as your best friend. Walk with me in this world. Play with me. Dance with me. Share your every thought with me and experience lightness in my company. Sometimes experience me as your lovely mother. Experience true motherly love from me. Oh. How lucky am I that I am experiencing different relationship directly with God. and filling my heart with godly love really I am lucky so yes. oh.